Hello and welcome back. In this short lecture, we're going to learn how to open the PowerShell and uh, if you're running the, with the older version of the PowerShell, uh, you can upgrade the PowerShell also if really needed. So this is going to be uh, Windows PowerShell only, not the PowerShell core for your information. So this is my plain uh, Windows 10 machine which we just installed and uh, there's nothing has been installed other than the Google Chrome. And if you're trying to search for the PowerShell, how to open, uh, if you're quite new to the PowerShell, either you can, you know, go to the start button and you would be getting here as a PowerShell. As the folder, uh, within this you have the four different icons or the uh, four different options to open. So this is a PowerShell uh, which we work, which is uh, with the 64-bit and this is for 32-bit. And these two are the editors. So this is a 64-bit editor and this is the 32-bit editor. To begin with that, uh, we can uh, open up Windows PowerShell as this button or uh, if you're quite new you can also search here as the PowerShell and you should be able to get the PowerShell command see the same four things uh, which are coming from the apps and the best match is Windows PowerShell so if you click on this it's again opens a one more PowerShell that means you can open as many as the consoles uh, we call this as a console the uh, each each window we call is a console which is nothing but the PowerShell console in other way or sometimes we refer as a PowerShell window um, either way uh, this font size may be a little bit uh, smaller for you or maybe you don't like uh, the background or the color of this font so to change that as a first step you can go back to the right click on the window and go to the properties and this is where you can choose the font size you want to increase you can do that so you can have a preview how it looks like and you can see here the font was increased usually uh, it all depends on you know what is the size you wanted to choose once you have chosen you can also choose the required font which you like it and uh, opposed to that uh, if you see here the window window was you know uh, not uh, fully fitting to the complete screen size so what you are going to do is you would be you know, increasing the width and the height uh, according to that for example if i decrease it's actually decreased and uh, you can check out here uh, if you see here it's just moved to the uh, left side so fit it uh, as per your requirement and you can see here whatever the value is we are giving here and the width that's a window size the same value is getting actually changed into the width and the height also if you see here is more height if you don't want that much of height or maybe you can you know decrease and increase based on your uh, required value so this is actually increased so if I put it as the 20 uh, what would happen is it simply you know it has decreased the value so let's put it you know uh, some value which is a uh, meaningful uh, so that you can uh, check out uh, or it should be fitting into your screen and that's uh, that would be you know one of the requirement at least for me uh, to work properly so that I have a proper screen or proper window and uh, coming to the font uh, colors you can change here the color like the background if you don't like it you can go for either uh, pure uh, blue like this or to the uh, blue or whatever the gray color or whatever the window colors you want you can choose it so in my case I'm just going with the default as the black or uh, either black or the blue which is fine for me and click OK that would actually change uh, if you see here uh, it's the window has changed uh, to a certain extend, uh, extended window so this is how you change the required uh, window properties and so that you would be more comfortable on the window. Now let's uh, check out uh, other uh, options. So whatever we checked is a 64-bit PowerShell. And if you go back here, uh, which is the same as the 86, so if you're going to run with the 32-bit uh, thread, uh, you would be you know, using this uh, window. Otherwise, uh, you would be normally working on a Windows PowerShell and uh, the remaining one uh, would be the IC uh, let me open up that also uh, for you this is for the 64 bit and this is for the 32 bit so let me start the 64 bit once IC started it looks like uh, this for the first time so you have a different windows uh, like uh, here you have the three different windows 
and uh, when you you know choose here the windows based on that it actually you can uh, set it as per your requirement so let me maximize and uh, uh, go for this mode so in this window if you can see here here I can write the scripts and I can see here the uh, output or I can directly write even here so we are gonna write some of the scripts uh, here and uh, we would be getting the output for example if I execute here DIR this can be uh, actually uh, executed here uh, whatever we are writing here we're getting the output here so this this is the output window and uh, the required commands are automatically coming up here whatever the PowerShell module was loaded uh, within this so you have some of the commands for example you want to disable local users so how to use uh, it's giving you know that's why it's more intelligent way of uh, pulling out the uh, command so if you look at ISE as a sta uh, what it stands for is uh, integrated scripting environment so how it's gonna uh, benefit for us is the PowerShell uh, integrated scripting environment is the host application for uh, Windows PowerShell uh, in the IEC you can run commands and write tests, debug your own scripts uh, the way you want it in a GUI based uh, like you would have the user interface so it would be more comfortable instead of you know you work on a uh, a complete blank screen of a command window or uh, like uh, in the previous one so instead of you work here you can actually uh, work in this uh, window so that would be more helpful for you and also it gives you um, a multi-lining editing uh, tab uh, completion syntax automatically coloring and uh, selective execution all that uh, basically so more uh, help you would be getting out of this isc so people that's why you know most of them uh, would be writing here the scripts and once it is good they would uh, proceed further uh, uh, by calling the scripts from their uh, either commands or just the exe file based they would you know call it we would be doing all that uh, work later point for now you know that there is a a uh, window based and also the GUI based uh, interface where you can write and you can execute the scripts uh, that's a key uh, which you need to take out of this lecture thank you for watching this